And a thoughtful moment indeed. The national anthem and a crowd anxiously awaiting the tip-off. Welcome everyone to the sold-out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the Lakers, where we're broadcasting live today for 2K Sports. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And brought to you by State Farm, here's a quick look at our starting lineups. And one of the players we'll be seeing in this one, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, when he gets on a roll, it's pretty much over. He can get into that zone where he's knocking down perimeter shots, using that speed and the size and the footwork uh, to get any, anywhere he wants on the court. And when he gets to his spot, if he's knocking his shot down, forget it. You know, and some guys may get on a roll and then lose focus, but that's not the case with Kobe. I mean, he may miss a few. You might try to call a timeout, but his aggressive mindset is always such that he's going to keep coming at you. And that's how a guy like him can end up with 81 points in a game. I'll tell you what, he can be an offensive force when he's on top of his game, guys, and he usually is on top of his game. You know, with the Lakers, it's all about winning titles. Anything else is considered a disappointment. They were tested early, though. Well, he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Mike Brown. And uh, what did you find out, Doris? He had a lot of praise to extend Joe Johnson's way. And with each compliment, it presented a concern for his defense. He knows Joe is one of the most explosive scorers in the league and can hurt you in a lot of different ways on the floor. We'll see if he can hurt them in this one, guys. Thank you, Doris. Here's Williams. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Yeah, those were fine numbers he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike. And both free throws good for Williams. Boy, he's knocking them down. No surprise there. He's one of the premier free throw shooters in the league. We play just over a minute here in the first. Kobe kicks to Gasol. Humphreys there. Gasol dishes to Howard. Shot clock at six. Gets it to go. And here is Williams. Well, you knew that Dwight Howard had his days in Orlando numbered. That was clear. You just didn't know where he would end up. But his move to this team definitely was the big story of the offseason. And that's very uncharacteristic for him to miss that shot with such little defensive pressure. Here's Nash. Outside, Kobe. Six to shoot. World Peace, the pass to Howard. Humphreys there. They double-team Howard. And Lopez pulls it down. Well, getting back to Howard again, I mean, anytime you have a chance to get probably the best center in the league, it's a huge deal, and I think you just go for it. You do whatever it takes to get him. So I think this is a coup. I mean, Howard's had his problems. He had the back issue last year, all the controversy as he tried to get out of Orlando. But in the end, this guy is a monster, the best defensive player in the NBA, and really right in his prime. Here's Kobe following the basket by Brooke Lopez. Kobe kicks it over to Nash. Over Williams. Gerald Wallace grabs the miss. Nets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Williams kicks to Johnson. Lots at five from 18. Another miss by Johnson. Guys, you talk about Avery Johnson, the coach of the Nets. With five-plus seasons of NBA coaching experience and as a head coach, he got his start on that great Mavericks team. He's the fastest coach in NBA history to get to 150 wins. That, that says a lot. All business there, not messing around one bit. Flushed it right with one hand. He never does, Clark. He never does. <laughs> well, that's kind of his trademark, those slams like that one. Now here's Williams. Wallace outside. Kicks it to Johnson. And play stops as it looks like they call it over the back here. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. 
can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Antoine Jameson's checked in for Gasol. Barnes comes in for Meta World Peace. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Kobe. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Steve Nash. Jamison kicks to Barnes. Howard covered by Humphreys. They double team Howard. They double him with Wallace. Here's Barnes. No good on the triple. And going back to what Clark mentioned with Avery Johnson, you know, that first full season as a head coach with Dallas, he won coach of the year, and the team made it all the way to the finals. Not bad for a rookie. Now here's Brooks. Takes a three. Good. Brooks has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. You got to respect a player who can knock down shots like that, even with the defense right up in his jersey. Screen by Howard. Outside, Meeks. They get the rebound. Here's Barnes. Now the feed to Meeks. Jamison kicks to Blake. Let's it go from deep. Can't hit. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Watson, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The Nets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, you look back at a season ago, this is a club that made 78% of its shots from the free throw line, so very comfortable with that strike. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Meta World Peace, he's checked in for Howard. Kobe comes in for Meeks, and it's Nash in for Steve Blake. Kobe attacking over Wallace, and that one's good by Kobe. Tie game in Los Angeles, and we'll be back right after this. And it's gone up that hasn't been contested so far. Boy, it was so interesting last year with the Nets when you think about the owner. He was so involved when he first came over, and he was all over the TV, he'd be interviewed constantly. Last year, he was nowhere to be found because he was busy with a presidential campaign in his homeland of Russia. So it'd be interesting to see if he returns to his more visible ways as the owner of the Nets. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the Lakers. And in the backcourt, Snash and Kobe. Matt Barnes is out there with Antoine Jameson. And it's Gasol at the center. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Dwight Howard, such an impact player defensively. You ask players around the league. Kyle Korver said he definitely changes the game. You can't just be your post man. Not one of people can post up Dwight and score on him. Carlos Boozer said, you have to break out something from your game. Step out and hit the jump shot a little bit. And guys, Joe Kim Noah maybe said it best. You better get your rest the night before, I'll tell you that. Well, might be the case, Kevin, as he, had, he was a big advocate for the move to Brooklyn. He might be a much bigger figure in the new arena going forward. Time will tell. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for the Lakers. World Peace comes in for Matt Barnes. Six on the shot clock. Here's Kobe. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Kobe's got four points now in the quarter. Well, none of the defenders were quick enough to step out and get a hand in his face on that jump shot. Big mistake there. Here's Brooks. Count it from 12. Brooks has got five. And Marshawn Brooks out of Providence. What a terrific rookie season he had. High volume score in college. And he continued to put up a lot of points in the NBA. Now here is Howard. Howard draws the double. Jamison. Pushes up. Drops in the layup for two. What a finish with that hoop. Clark going back to Brooks, the 25th pick in the 2011 draft for a late first round pick to be in the rookie of the year conversation. You know, I think that's one heck of an accomplishment. And well deserved too, Kevin. His offensive versatility from the outset is the thing that really shines. Three-pointers, drives, the in-between game. He can put it in the basket. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Evans comes in for Marshawn Brooks, and it's Johnson in for Darren Williams. Well, Jamison is a versatile scorer at that power forward position. 
He can step outside, knock down the perimeter shot all the way out to the three-point line. Then he's got that interesting in-between game, those little flip shots and floaters that make him so difficult to cover. It's unorthodox, but my, has it been effective for a long time. Jamison gets his shots off quick inside. He's got all of the flips and up-and-unders and floaters and half hooks. He doesn't give the defense much time to react. He's quick in getting his shot off no matter what type of shot it is. World Peace, good! As a team, the Nets just didn't do a good job of protecting the rim. Opponents got a ton of uncontested shots in the paint area. They were dead last in block shots. Kobe kicks to World Peace. No good. The Nets have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Joe chucks it on the wing. The Lakers with the rebound. And it isn't easy to clog the lane when you have an injured star center like Lopez. But the Nets, you know, Steve, they had to do better than they did. Well, yeah. You, I mean, you have to be physical. You have to be smart. And you have to play together defensively, make the right rotations. And I think when things went south for the Nets last year, you know, their defense really struggled. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And that was a nice pickup for New Jersey last year, getting Gerald Wallace from Portland at the trade deadline. It was a huge improvement for them at the small forward position. And he's able to give this team a, a big upgrade in terms of energy and athleticism. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Pau Gasol has checked in for Howard. Barnes comes in for Antoine Jameson. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Kobe. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Steve Nash. Here's Blake. Passes it to Gasol. Lopez is there. Knocks it loose. Here's Brooks. Puts it up. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got three rebounds so far in the game. And you go back to that wall straight for the Nets. He didn't come cheaply. The Blazers got a high lottery pick in exchange. Uh, nonetheless, very interesting both ways, Clark. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think they look at Wallace as part of a culture changer in Brooklyn. As hard as he works, he really sets the bar for the team as a whole in that area. And when you're trying to change culture, character and work ethic are two ingredients you got to have. 51 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Blake with it. Williams picks him up. Gasol is screen on Williams. Blake dishes to Gasol. And it's going to be a three-second call. Right out. He's checked in for Meta World Peace. And then for Brooklyn, Humphreys comes in for Gerald Wallace. And it's Watson in for Joe Johnson. The Nets have gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Here's Williams. Great D that time from Howell. The Lakers trail. Shot and game clock separated by five. Meeks outside. The rebound by Humphreys. The net shooting 47% from the floor. Getting it done. Now Watson. He kicks it to Williams. This one for three. Cannot hit. Here's Meeks. Blake for three. No good on the buzzer beater. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Nets out in front. They're up by two. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Halftime at Staples Center. In a close one. Welcome, everyone. I'm Damon Bruce. The Brooklyn Nets in a tight one against the Los Angeles Lakers. Their second unit giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. There have been some great moments from Marshawn Brooks in this one. He's got seven points and has also grabbed a couple rebounds. It's also been a strong start for the Lakers. They've been in one heck of a groove offensively, making it look way too easy. Kobe has the game high. The bucket looks about five feet wide for him. He hasn't missed one shot. Can you believe it? And that'll be our report. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you next time. Big names they've gotten assigned in free agency. No doubt about it. The Lakers are still one of those destination teams for a lot of players in the league. Now here's Nash after the miss from Darren Williams. Kobe kicks to world peace. That's in. Coming off an assist by Kobe. 
six points for Meta World Peace. They double team Kobe. They double him with Wallace. From outside the arc, rebound Brooklyn. That's a shot you've got to take if you're looking for the three-pointer. I mean, the defense was nowhere around. Here's Johnson. The shot is off. Great D that time for Nash. Back to Kobe. Beyond the arc, and that one's good. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. Lopez is guarded by Howard. Here's Johnson. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Timeout called the Lakers. Shoots over Kobe. Watson's shot is off. This game very well could come down to a few possessions, and if that's the case, rebounding could play large. Yeah, in a close game like this one, securing the ball is so vital. Well, they haven't been getting lit up from outside here. All the points they're giving up are from in close. They've got to offer more resistance. Yeah, defense has to get better, Clark. They've got to body up, bump somebody, get physical, force the action back out to the perimeter. Open shot. Johnson cans the shot with nobody near him. Johnson's got his second best. The Lakers in the lead. For Brooklyn, Brooke Lopez is checked in for Humphreys. Wallace comes in for Joe Johnson. Darren Williams is subbed in for C.J. Watson. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Kobe, and he bangs it home with one hand. The defense caught dozing off that time. Those open dunks, pretty high percentage. Yeah, you're not going to miss many of those. I mean, this is uh, really a poor defensive effort. Lopez. And the baseline jumper, no good. Here's Kobe. There's Nash with the three. No luck. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Lakers lead by four. So as we get rolling here in the fourth quarter, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. Today, it's the Lakers coming away with the Uncontainable Game. Things have been going their way through the first three quarters, and with the way they've executed, there is no reason to think it won't continue on. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. They double-team Kobe. Blake, a three ball. Humphreys gets the rebound. Humphreys has got his third rebound on the night. So with Nash sitting on the bench, this is the group Mike Brown has right now. Gasol at the four, with Howard in at the five. In the backcourt, Steve Blake and Kobe Bryant. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. Blake dishes to Kobe. Gasol a screen on Johnson. And Kobe throws it down home. That's basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself and then take it straight to the rack. Yeah, very nice set play for him. Well, that's using your head and using your body. Left side, Williams. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. You know, he's had his ups and downs in his career, but one thing about Darren Williams is that he consistently delivers in the fourth quarter. Just seems to have that knack for knocking down the big shot when you need it. Yeah, and make no mistake about it, Steve. When you talk about Darren Williams, you're talking about a guy who can get it going earlier in the game, too. He makes clutch plays, no doubt, but he can put numbers up on you in a hurry. He can go for half a hunchy on you if you're not careful. His ability to take over games is what makes him a natural leader on the floor and a guy his teammates have a lot of respect for. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Nets making a change here as well. Marjan Brooks is checked in for Chris Humphreys. It's Williams with the drive. Over Howard. Williams missing again. The Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Gasol a screen on Brooks. Blake passes to Gasol. Dishes it to Howard. Lakers working the ball around now. Lock at six. Good. And the Lakers lead by five. It's been the story of the game for him. Fortunately, his teammates have bailed him out. Brooks outside. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. A fadeaway. Wallace. 
Blake with it. Feeds it to Meeks. He passes it to Gasol. Ball is on him. Poked away. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. And some changes here for the Lakers. From Meta World Peace, he's checked in for Barnes. Kobe comes in for Meeks. And it's Nash in for Steve Blake. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. They get it again. Gasol kicks to Kobe. Back to Gasol. Two seconds left. How's that for an encore after the offensive board? That's the only way he knows how to do it. Monster stuff. Oh, he makes life miserable down around the paint for anybody who's trying to box him out. Johnson outside. Pass to Brooks. Kicks to Lopez. Just five on the clock. Williams, front past the arc. Rebound by Meta World Peace. I don't like throwing up long-range threes at this point. You've got to get better looks to try to close this gap. Kobe gets a screen from Howard. Kobe goes in. Back and down is Howard. Out to Nash. Back to Gasol. Wallace covering. Another shot. Paul Gasol again. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. Timeout called the Nets. Get to him. Guys, a nice pep talk. We'll see if he got him going. And the Nets may get a change here. Humphrey's checked in. Williams for three. And it's Williams again missing. He can't find anything out there. And his misses are really hurting this team. Kobe kicks to Howard. That's good. And the Lakers lead by 11. That's where you like to get shots, inside and close to the hoop. Johnson against Kobe. Outside, Williams. Backing him down. To end the run. And it's Williams again missing. And that's the way it's been. A big margin for them in the rebounding category. You know, sometimes you got to get down and dirty and do the dirty work. And in this one, they've done it, and it's paid off on the scoreboard in a big way. Kobe with it. He's picked up by Lopez. And it's World Peace missing. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. Ball's not loose. The feed now to Williams. Fires for three, and that's a foul. Called on Chris Humphreys. And that'll be his. Here are the Lakers. They're on an 11-2 run. Here's Nash. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Well, the outcome is not in question now. They've got it all wrapped up. Agreed. I mean, they're just looking to simply run the clock out now. Here's Watson. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. Drop it to the flow. Make that, make that, make that. Whoa, make the ground move. That's an, that's an, okay. that's an, say yay, say yay, don't.
Hold up, say word. Yeah.